right, guys, we just got to Dublin. That was a long day and checked in. And apparently I have a suite. Woohoo! This is the bathroom, the potty, the shower with the raining shower head. I love it. We have the closet with extra blankets, an iron, perfect, I needed that. I hope there's an ironing board in here. Yep, ironing board, I'll be setting that up. My king size bed. When we got into town, we just found out there's two huge soccer matches today or football as they would call it here. So the town is crazy. I'm so excited. Coffee station. No air conditioning, which is sucky, but look at this out my window, my view. And just some apartments. So excited. Oh, I have a little couch. Yeah. So this is home until Friday morning. <laughs> we found the portal. Me too. The portal to New York. I'll get up closer later. We're at the Rock of Cashel Castle and Grounds. Oh my goodness. In the 70s, 1970. Oh, it's a castle. My people should be here. Not the people on the wall, not the visitors. Oh, look at them, they're creepy. All right, let's see. There's Queen Elizabeth, we love her. So state visit to St. Patrick's World. I got a Manson. You're married to Charles Manson? This village. Okay. Oh. <laughs> A little shopping in Cork. Such a cute little area. Okay, we're at the port or the city of Cork, Ireland. We're headed to Blarney Castle. Isn't that so magnificent? The shopping is amazing. the downtown shopping area. Cork Island, friends, I found coffee. Walking around, shopping. Got a few souvenirs, nothing major. 
the weather. It's nice, cool, nice. I needed a jacket. A large Americana with milk. Thank you very much. All right, let's go to Blarney Castle. Okay, I'm seeing some stuff. Oh my God, how wonderful is that? Blarney Castle. It's the Barney As we say, it's a Barney Right, it's the Barney Crick. <laughs> C R I C K. The, the Barney Crick. C R I C K. Okay, looking up gives me your eager issues, sir. <laughs> We're in some creepy cave underneath Blarney Castle. Okay, we're coming in. I'm, I'm a little creeped out. He, I don't think Michael can come back too much further. Okay. Does he? It's moist. There's moisture. I'm done. Okay, it's raining. What's it doing, Jay? Raining. Sarah. Boring. Ellen. Summertime mist. Summer misting out. First Irish mist of the day. It's Irish spring. I'm gonna tame myself. It's raining in Ireland, friends. Who knew it rained here? Ugh. But we're going in the troll door in the side of the bus. Oh, that's too yeah. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, that's we made it. Right. Troll door. Say hi to my YouTubers. Family. Hi. Ellen's like, it's raining. He's reading a book, whoever he is. Think it's Thomas Jefferson? He does. <laughs> so I was thinking, I'm like, no, that's Goldsmith. Goldsmith. All right, in we go. I'm just trying to get the biology. Trinity College. So wonderful. Oh, look of Kells. That's where we're headed. The Bell Tower. <laughs> All right, here's our pocket gospel books. The Book of Kells, the portrait of John, marks the opening of his gospel. John is seated on the throne, his intense gaze emphasized by the huge halo encircling his head. I think this was written in 18, no, 807. Eight, Lord. Here's the most celebrated page. Get the cat. Pangor Bond is a cat. We have cats. We know. That's right. I love it. In the Book of Kells. Look at that Irish embroidery. Gorgeous. That's just pristine. Somebody handmade this. I assume. This is heaven.
the center room of the Book of Kells. Visual representation of the globe. That is so awesome. It's called Gaia. Mm -hmm. An artwork by artist Luke Jerram, featuring 120 DPI detailed NASA imagery of the Earth's surface. Wow. Hey, flat earthers, look, it's round. This is a copy of the Book of Kells. It was reproduced in 1990. The oldest written known manuscript. Oh. We're going to think she was Ben Franklin's wife, but we don't really know. But she's a lady. The virtual turning of the page. the portal of New York, but it's not open. He's sleeping. It says it asleep. Be back at 1 p.m. All right, we'll try later. <laughs> Hello, New York City. <laughs> Hello, New York. Hey, I hear this is the most photographed bridge in Dublin. And this is where Sarah and Michael are getting ice cream. There they are. Getting ice cream. Right, guys, we're headed to Belfast. Look at the troll door in the side of the bus. And there's our toilet. <laughs> We're headed down to the Giant's Causeway in Northern Ireland. This is the Atlantic Ocean, apparently. We've got a 20 minute walk down this trail. Say hi, Michael and Sarah. If I don't pay attention, I'm going to end up face down. So we'll pay attention. You coming? Stay there. Then stay there. northernmost coast of Ireland is right here. This is where my great grandparents on my mother's side came from, Northern Ireland. And this is, we don't know, some type of a structure over here. Okay, 
guys. We're at the sea in Northern Ireland. So pretty. Um, straight to the water. Out that way? Yeah, say goodbye, Nana. Bye. Bye, Nana. Head up with Jim. There went Nana. Well, I saw a nice little splash. Enjoy That's your people, Nana. There's the cows. In the village. And the village people. Dark hedges, aka twisty trees. Right? We're gonna foil that king who is trying to take our country. What do you have to say, you two? Don't take my lumber. Don't take my lumber. Alright, that's when the Titanic launched. They just build them and shove them in. The White Star Line. In Dublin Castle. This was their seat of power. I'm about ready to get rained on. However, my raining thing says it wasn't going to rain today. My weather app, so it lied. I gotta get a picture of this. Oh, I'm so excited. 
I should have been born during this era. These paintings are massive. Wow. How glorious. This room, and these mirrors. I need that mirror. And the the thrones. This is the throne room. This is the Wedgwood room. Oh my goodness, look at these people. But wait till you see King George the Third. That is a portrait of King George the Third. My goodness. these people are let's be truthful I don't even know who half of them are oh that's a lovely young gent this was a collection um, I think they're like cherubs angels small little babies I think maybe in memoriam to somebody question mark but it's a beautiful room so this is some type of ballroom all of its gloriousness. My goodness. I can't even. And look at the ceiling. The opulent. Just walking around Dublin. That is one of the most photographed bridges in Dublin on the River Liffey. This is just waterfront. It separates the north side from the south. I'm on the south side right now, walking back towards my hotel. And we're gonna see what we get into along the way. I should probably cross over that bridge, but I don't really need to. But don't I want to? I feel like I do. Okay, crossing the River Liffey over to the north side on O'Connell Street, which is where my hotel is. Thank goodness for a strategically placed statue and a Starbucks to let me know that I'm on the right side of the bridge. <laughs> Getting me back to my hotel. I think I'm taking that to the airport. We're gonna see. Maybe. Hi friends. I just got to my hotel room. It's a little crazy. There's an actual key. I'm in the annex, whatever that is. It's a handicapped room. The bathroom's kind of scary, but I, I'll show you a picture. Okay, I'm going to get a beverage. I'm drinking coffee but I think I'm gonna go get a cider, because I earned it. 
I will tell you all about my craziness when I get back, but it involved multiple trains, breaking down, and yeah, an Uber. But I'm here. What a cool little restaurant this is. A little pub, if you will. A proper English pub. And they have coffee, etc. <laughs> Here's Carrie fixing Hannah's knitting. <laughs> Here's Hannah with the broken knitting. <laughs> and Kelly, who has no broken knitting. <laughs> and we lost Lisa because she's hangry. At the train station. Waiting for our train. comes one. This is not ours. Thank you. 